I feel like I just swallowed a pound of dry shampoo. <coughs> Hello everyone! It is the end of October and I am back with another round of Fibra! And it's like Halloween tomorrow! So exciting! What are you guys going as? Tell me in the comments below. I want to know what you guys are dressing up as. For last minute costume ideas, I did a video last week um, for you guys on some last minute ideas, which I really like the video and the way that I edited it. I'm pretty proud of it, so go check it out if you want to see that. Also, you guys have to help me. I don't know what to do with my hair. I am getting my hair done tomorrow, cut and colored, and I don't know if I should cut it a little bit shorter. Not like short, but like shorter versus what I've been doing normally. I don't know. I'm not going to dye it too differently, I think, than what I'm, I'm normally doing just because I like to be relatively the same. It's just easier to grow out roots. And it was really nice when I was pregnant with Julia because you didn't see my roots at all because it all kind of blended into like one color. So I kind of want to continue with that. And no, I'm not pregnant right now. Just clearing that up. But yeah, if you have any thoughts on what I should do, let me know because I'm getting that done and I don't know what to do. I don't know. Okay, and also on Monday, I'm super excited. It's the first day that we're filming the webisode series. I still don't have a name for it, so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. We're kind of playing with either Rachel Loves Firsts or Get Ready With Rachel. Um, I'm not really sure, so what do you guys think? I don't, I don't know. They're both really good. And um, we're gonna be filming the first day here in my office slash closet slash beauty space thing. I'm gonna be posing a ton of behind the scenes like little video clips and pictures and stuff on Instagram and Twitter. So if you guys want to see what is going on, um, go and check out those links. I will put them in the info bar below in case you are not already following me. You should go and check that out. Okay, what are we talking about? Oh, just hit something. Sorry. So, favorites. I have a couple of beauty favorites and some fashion-y favorites and some candle stuff and things and awesome. Okay, let's do this. So first, I'm going to start with candle because I'm super excited about it. I love this candle. And it is by um, Bath and Body Works. And this is the Pumpkin Cinnamon cinnamon bun candle. I'm so excited. It smells amazing guys. Like I'm usually not a huge fan of the super super sweet smelling ones. Like I just find it is too overwhelming and I'd much rather bake cookies than actually eat them than smell a candle that smells like that. But this is like it's sweet but it still has that pumpkin-y cinnamoniness to it so it doesn't smell as sweet. I don't know. I can't explain it but you need to go to Bath & Body Works and smell the candle and then buy it because it's awesome. This is like the perfect size for my office, so like this kind of fills up the room with scent without it being like overwhelming. You know, like grade eight boys that like spray themselves with ax over and over again. It's just like, that's too much. Too much ax. For my nails, I have been loving the uh, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel color, and this is in Spice Age. So I actually did a review on these polishes. Ooh, that would have been like a month or two ago. I don't know what sound that was. Ooh. And I was like, I was so so on them. They're pretty good. They do last a while, but considering how much like wear and tear I put them through, they lasted maybe like five days, not 14. But then I tried this one and I wasn't like going through and taking stickers off things and like scrubbing the house down. So they lasted a lot longer and didn't chip as much as I originally had said that they did. And, or at least this one, maybe, maybe they're different. Like the blue one is chips more than this one. But anyway, this color, is so freaking pretty. It's like this beautiful, sparkly, bronzy color. Ah, it's so nice. Just make sure that you get the top coat with a white lid, not the black lid. Black lid is black. Black lid is black. See, I found it fast. Black lid is black. Black lid is black. Black lid is black. But yes, this is a beautiful color on the nails. It's really just a really nice fall color. Bronze. Pretty. Do it. Then I have, um, I have two favorites for lips that I have been loving. One is by M Cosmetics, and this is in, what is this? This is their, I, I don't know what it's called, some sort of like their sheer something or other, I don't know. The sheer lipsticks, wash of color lipsticks, I don't know what they're called. But it is um, One True Kiss is the name of the color. It's so nice, guys. This color is gorgeous. It's like a soft pinky nude color, but it's really moisturizing and like glossy without being like Globby. I don't know how to explain it, but the color is awesome. So I want to get more of these because they're really nice and I don't think enough people talk about how good this is. This is a really nice color. You should go get it. Really pretty. This has actually been living my purse for the last little while. So I have been wearing it constantly. You know it's really good when it lives in your purse. You know what I'm talking about? And then the other one is by Revlon and it is their uh, Colorstay Ultimate Suede in the color Fashionista. And it is supposed to have sort of like a I don't know, matte, but not matte sort of finish. So it's supposed to be like a suede finish to the lips. 
I have it layered on top of several other lipsticks because I was experimenting today. And it's just a really pretty warm red tone. Really nice. It's pigmented without being too pigmented. It is very buildable. It's not going to give you that same rich pigmentation that you get from like a NARS lipstick or a MAC lipstick or something like that. But it's really nice still and it's super wearable, easy. It doesn't feel chalky or gross on the lips. I haven't tried any of the other colors. I've only tried this one, so I might have to go out and pick some up. If you guys have any recommendations for ones like this that are actually good, let me know in the comments. I wanna know. Acquiring minds wanna know. And then the last beauty product is by Kat Von D. It is their tattoo liner, and this is in Trooper. I don't know if there's actually other colors or if that's part of it. Nope, that's definitely the color, Trooper. It is black and it is um, a really, really fine tip. It's it's a brush, but it's not a brush. I can't explain this. It's like, okay, you know those felt tip liners that I love and I, okay, back it up, back it up. So I don't like the liquid liners because the brushes are like too flimsy and I just, I can't get a perfect line and I hate them, hate them. But I really like the felt tip liners because they're easy to apply. It's goof proof pretty much and you just get this beautiful precise line and that same sort of liquid liner effect without using a liquid liner. So this is a brush. Wait, I should, I think it's a brush or like a, oh, I just got it all over my hand. Um, it might be like a rubber thing at the end. I don't know. It's like a really fine tip something. Maybe it's not a brush. I don't think it's a brush. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not felt tip. It's not a uh, brush and it just it goes on so smoothly. It's got a really really fine tip so you get right into a, along the lash line and it's really easy to apply. I have no trouble doing like a, a winged liner with this. It doesn't like flop all over the place and then you end up with like this random weird line that like just ruins everything and then you have to start all over. Ah, oh, wing liner. There are so many times. So many times when I attempt to do a wing liner and it's just like nope. Just didn't work today. Erase, start over. But yeah, what was I talking about? Yes, this liner, super, super good. For non-beauty related favorites, my purse, which I got from Express. This is actually a Christmas present from my sister-in-laws, Sarah and Lauren. Super nice, nice and big. I can fit so much stuff in here. There are so many baby toys in here. I can't even tell you, so many baby toys. But it just, it works, it like goes with everything, but it's still a little bit different and unique than the typical black purse that I wear. So, love this. Love this, love this, love this. Wait, I should show you the inside so you can see. That's the only annoying part is this like little clip thing. Sometimes it doesn't like line up and then it takes me forever. Anyway, <laughs> that, that worked like on the first try. That's never happened before. So like lots of space. Oh, my purse is so dirty. Don't look inside. So I'm gonna buy my toys. <laughs> and then these boots that I wore in Tuesday's Getting Ready With Me video. Did I wear these? Yeah, I think I wore these. They are awesome. I've been wearing them friggin' every time I go out. These booties are from Forever 21. They are so flippin' comfortable and they look awesome and they just work with everything for fall. They're so good, so good. Beautiful, beautiful boots. I love booties. They're like my go-to for fall. Love them. And then, last but not least, is a song that I've been loving for the month and it is by Sam Hunt and it's Break Up in a Small Town. I was singing it at the beginning of my Products I've Used Up video and you guys were asking me what song it was so this is what it is. So good. If you love country, but like more like poppy, uppy kind of country, you need to listen to the song. So good. And that's everything. Those are all of my favorites for the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below as per usual and let me know what your favorites are. I want to hear from you guys. And I hope you guys are having an amazing week and have a good and safe Halloween. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.